Time is going by already fast, and we just thank God for this morning, for allowing us to be in his house of praise, to give him glory, honor, and praise this morning. Well, if you're excited about being here with us by way of virtual worship service, why don't you send some hearts up? Why don't you send some thumbs up real quick as we prepare to get ready to go right into the word? We want to thank our musicians that's here. We want to thank Brother Carlton. Thank God for our praise team. And we we, we have a word that we know the Lord was going to give us today. We we um, decree it and believe that he's going to speak a word that lives will be changed, set free, and delivered. That's about head right for a word of prayer. Eternal God, we thank you this morning for another day, another opportunity just to be in your place of praise, to give you glory and honor. Now, Lord, forgive us of all our sins as we become before you right now. Use me as your servant, as your mouthpiece, that I rightly divide your word. That it would fall on good ground. Souls would be saved. Saints would be revived. Thank you for the musicians. Thank you for the praise team. Thank you for Brother Carlton, Lord, for their sacrifices week after week. Now, Lord, we just come before you right now, knowing that you would have your way. Speak like never before. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus, King. Me, I thought we'd go old school. The wrong woman that's oppressed just found fountain free. to the 
be he. Come on, musician, do it for me. Do it, do it. Sister, we we talked about starting the year off off right. One of the first things we we shared, musicians and Carlton, we we shared point number one: you can start the year off right because of his his goodness. You can start it off because of his his goodness. David said in that same song, at verse one, he said, "Oh, give thanks unto the Lord." David is calling on us to make sure we remember his goodness. He said, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is, he's good because his mercy endured forever. Several things we looked at last week, my brothers and sisters, I'm going kind of fast, kind of like bringing up the speed just in case you missed last Sunday. But one of the first things we shared, dealing with the goodness of God, we said, number one, David shared his pain in God's goodness. And when you talk about his pain, David was simply saying in verse 5, I call upon the Lord in distress. And the Lord answered, he answered me, brother, die and set me in a large place. David said, not only did I call on the Lord uh, in a time of pain, but he said, I also called on in the Lord. He said, David shared his peace and God's goodness. Why do I say peace? We said last Sunday, my brother and sister, that David realized that the Lord was on his side. And David simply said, what can man do to me? David shared his pain in God's goodness. David shared his peace in God's goodness. And third, we said, my brother and sister, David shared his protection in God's goodness. Because it was the same David who said that the whole nation seemed to compass him. And we talked about when he used the word compass, it simply means to surround him. It paints a picture that David even puts in the words that he felt like that was, they were, his enemy was like bees all around him. And so my brother and sister, we ended that way last Sunday. So I thought today we'll pick up with point number two. My brother and sister, point number two, you can start the year off right because of the goodness, watch this, to us. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the goodness to, to us. David said here, watch this, in Psalm 
118 verse 24 is right where I want to be. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. His goodness to, to us. Apostle die. His goodness to, to us. My brothers and sisters, this verse is very commonly quoted in by many Christians, my brothers and sisters, in a general reference for, for example, when you were referring to the day that you are enjoying at the time that you make this decoration. And David was doing something real pretty in the text. And I, you, you have to agree with me that it's the sovereign God who controls our time. It's the sovereign God who controls our very life. It's the sovereign God each day when he wakes us up and we have the opportunity to breathe the fresh air, this is the day that the Lord has made. And David said, in his goodness to, to us. However, my brothers and sisters, when I looked at this, this particular verse, I discovered, my brothers and sisters, that David was really saying a little bit more than what we've been missing. Teach, Dodge. Because David, in the words, my brothers and sisters, he paints the picture and deal with the true context of what he's talking about when he used the word day. And I wanted to ask David in my own sanctified mind, what day, <laughs> what day is hey, David really talking about when he used the word day? Because in my own little spiritual mind, I, I thought maybe he was talking about Sunday. That this is the day. Monday too. What, what day could David really be talking about that many of us have missed? Yes, it's good to use this verse, imply the application. But what's the true meaning of what David is saying when he pins the word day? Teach, though, that word day, my brother and sister, he talks about when Christ is exalted and made the chief cornerstone. Good God Almighty. David is talking about when, when Jesus will be our cornerstone. The day that he will rule the world and Israel will be a great nation of the world. Teach, Lord. David is saying that day will be a day that the Lord has made. And believers certainly will rejoice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will rejoice in it. You're going to rejoice when he reigns. And he come back and call all things to existence. When he come back, That's not. it's a day that all made possible by the person of Jesus Christ. Now I had to put some teaching in the text because I don't want us to miss the text. But there's applications that we can apply beyond what David is saying. And although we understand the context that he used, there's an application that we can apply to our life to start the year off right. To deal with his goodness to, to us. Listen to what David said. This is the day which the Lord has made. That he has made. David, watch this, shared the goodness to us by first of all talking about we are covered. That's the goodness to us that we have been, we've been covered. <laughs> We're here this morning simply because we've been, we've been covered. We, we came through 2020 because uh, we've been, we've been covered. Watch the text here. He said, he said, this is the day that the Lord has me. Comes from a Hebrew word, teach, George. Watch this. It simply means to be occupied. Uh, teach though it, it simply means my brother and sister to have control it simply means brother die it simply means to take over in other words David said when we are covered it's simply that God has taken over our life that God has control of our life we are allowing God to occupy in our life to have residence in our life and when God is in control good God Almighty when God has dominion over your life he covers you and David said because I've been covered good God Almighty this is the day that God has made 
He said, wait a minute, wait a minute, George. He said, not only his goodness to us because, watch this, we are covered. He said, we also have the goodness towards us because, watch this, we can celebrate. David said, I've been covered. Watch this, he has control over my life. He occupy in my life. He lives in my life day by day. But David said, wait a minute. You can celebrate. And I want to know where is the celebration because I'm about to close now. I asked, where is the, the celebration? He said right here, this is the day which the Lord has made. But watch the celebration. Let us, the same one, watch this, who've been covered. The same one that you have allowed to have control over your life. The same one who allowed him to occupy in your life. He said, let us, watch this, rejoice. He said, let us rejoice. The Psalms to David. Watch that. He encourages us to rejoice. He encourages us to celebrate each new day that he gives us. Watch this. Your day may not be what you want it to be, but it's a new day. Good God Almighty. Your day may not be the day that you have planned it to be, but it's a new day. And David reminds us to to rejoice. I said this last year. And I said again. If you choose. To rejoice. You can choose to rejoice. Or you can choose to. Complain. Watch this. You can choose to be glad. Or you can choose to be sad. You can choose to be thankful. Or you can, be cho or you can choose to be thankless. And if you focus on the goodness of God and what he has done for us by covering us, then you can celebrate in him. Now, let's see, can I bring it home like I did this past week in our 10-minute inspiration time? And I want to share this with you that may have missed our 10-minute inspiration time this past week because the question must be asked, how do I take the text? How, what is it that I can apply to my life to help me truly start the year off right? Because somebody said, Pastor, I understand I'm covered. I understand I can celebrate. I understand his goodness towards us. I understand all of that. But what can I do? Watch this. When this virtual service is over. And I want to give you something, the same thing I gave those who tuned in by way of Facebook. And that is, you have to do what we call a yearly review. All right, all right. It's a new year. Watch how we review this Facebook. Watch how we review this YouTube. Listen, those who have called and his. Watch this. Take stock of where you have been and appreciate all the accomplishments that you have made in the last year. And watch this. There are several questions. Many of you all have had the opportunity to answer during our 10 minute inspiration, but you that have missed it, I don't want you to miss these same six questions in order to apply to your life how to start the year off right. Look at some of the questions right here that I have for you. I got six of them. I got six questions that you need to apply to your life. Watch this. Number one, what went well for me last year? I'm going to start the year off right. I gotta ask that. I gotta answer that question. What went well with me? Now, don't worry about your neighbor. Don't worry about who lives with you. Don't worry about your coworker. Don't worry about those in the church. Worry about you right here. You have to be honest, Facebook. You have to be honest, you too. What went well with me last year? Question number two. You don't have to answer on Facebook because you don't want everybody to see your your answer. But question number two. What accomplishments did I have? Apostle Dye, what accomplishments did I have? Dye, uh, man, what accomplishments did I have? Question number three, how did I improve my life? Yeah. Question number four, how did I improve my relationships? Oh, I wish I had some help in here. It could be with your spouse. It could be with your boo. It can be with a church member, a co-worker, your kids. How did I, I said, improve my relationship. Question number five, what did I remove from my life, good God Almighty, that is now making me happier? 
did I remove? Who did I cut off? Good God Almighty. Who, who did I delete out of my contacts? Oh, oh, hold up, hold up. I forgot we live in a new day, Carl. So watch this. Who did I block? Good God Almighty. I wish I had some help. I wish I had some help. Question number six. What do I wish I had taken more time for? Did you give God all the time you're supposed to have been giving him last year? Watch this. That was number one. That was number one. You take that review. Well, watch this. I got to get, I got to move. I got to move. Carlton, keep me on track, Carlton. Keep me on track. Watch, watch this. Number two, finish what you started. I, I, I know I'm teaching. I know I'm teaching this morning, Carlton. I know I'm teaching Facebook, YouTube, those who called it. Finish what you started. What do I mean by that? Here it is right here. Which projects, which errands, which general list to do, to do items do you uh, do you have left over? Watch this, that you have left over from the previous year that you can complete in two hours or less of one day. What is it that you know that you just didn't finish last year? Got one, I got, I got, I got, I got another one, I got another one, I got another one. Got another one. Watch this. Number three, be realistic. Uh, dreaming is fabulous and highly recommended. Listen to what Tom was saying right here. But if you want to accomplish some improvements in your life, you need to be realistic. Oh, I wish I had some help. I wish I had some help. In other words, watch this. You have to turn a dream into something you can picture accomplishing and it will become reality. Oh, I know, I know we teach it up in any of this morning. You, you have to almost have that vision to see yourself, watch this, in that car. Uh, Die, 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 man. You got to be able to see yourself in that home. You got to see yourself in that outfit. And many of you ladies out here, you know what I'm talking about. Soon as you got your mind made up on an outfit, a hairdo, good God Almighty, you can see yourself, whether it's long or short, whether it's rented or home. I wish I had some help in here. I got one more. I got to leave it. But this is my favorite one right here. This is my favorite one. I said it last week in my 10 minutes. This is my favorite one right here. Lose other people's opinion. If you're going to start this year off right, you got to lose other people's Opinion. You know, we're quick worried about trying to please everybody. Bill Cosby said it this way. I don't know the key to success, but I know the key to failure is trying to please, please everybody. So the goodness, the goodness to us. Oh my goodness. Somebody need to know that. So as I leave you this morning, I know you. Well, you've been through some stuff. So point one, point one, my brothers and sisters, you can start the year off right because of his, uh, his goodness. And point number two, you can you can start the year off right because his goodness to us. And you have to learn how to recognize God's goodness in your own life. Well, I had, I guess I'm going to close now. I heard Paul said in Romans chapter 8, yeah, verse 28. And Paul said, For we know that for those who love the Lord, all things, good God Almighty, work together, yeah, for good. Uh, for those who have called according to his purpose. Uh, and I gotta leave you now, I gotta leave you, gotta leave you, gotta leave you, gotta leave you now. But somebody this morning, yeah, 
you're looking to start the year off right. And I'm still reminded of David before I leave you now. now. For this is the day now that the Lord has made. Now. And I will rejoice. Now. Oh, Lord, rejoice in it. Send some hearts up real quick. Uh, Set up gum up real quick. Uh, by way of being in agreement with the word. Uh, and say to yourself, uh, I made up in my mind. Uh, this is a day uh, that the Lord has made. Uh, and I will rejoice. Woo! I say I will rejoice. Uh, good morning, Antioch. Uh, good morning, Facebook. Uh, good morning, YouTube. Starting this year, all right. Starting it off. Starting it off right. Because I'm gonna start it off right. I, I started off because I love him. I, I, I love him, and because he cares for me. I love him because he's given me another day. I I love him. If you out there this morning, if you know the Lord, send your hearts up, send your thumbs up. If you don't know him, get a chance to know him. This is your day. This is your hour. This is your day. Lord, we pray for that person right now that don't know you, that they will accept you in their life, in their heart right now by simply saying, Lord, I I'm sorry, as I have sinned. I want you to save me right now. Come into my heart. I believe that you are the Son of God, and I want to be saved. If you want it all, if you can come back right now to start the year off right. If you're back today, you can come back. If you desire prayer, why don't you just inbox me some kind of way, get in touch with me. I would, I would love to pray for you, love to put you on my prayer list to keep you lifted up. Because we're all in this together. We're all going through this together. We all want to start the year off right. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say I praise you. I lift you up. Say I magnify, I magnify your, your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Mm. I love you. Woo. I love you. Oh my. I love you, Lord. Today, because you care for me. Yes. Inside the span. Way. That's why I praise you. Come on, y'all. I lift you up, yes, and I magnify your your name. Oh my, my, my. That's why my heart is filled with praise. I'm gonna send hearts up, send thumbs up. My heart, my mind, my soul belongs to you. Yeah, you paid the price for me. Yeah, way back on Calvary. Yeah, that's why I praise you. Good God Almighty. I lift you up, yes, and I magnify your, oh, 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 my, your name, yeah, yeah, that's why my heart, yeah. that's a very reason. 
reason why why my heart caught him when I think about all he's done for me that's why my my heart is free with praise come on give God a hand clap of praise that that word was for you this morning to start the year off right send hearts up send thumbs up real quickly God bless you all musician called the praise team thank you all so much wow oh man hey God bless you. We pray that something has been said to help you, to motivate you, to lift your spirit that you may not do. Lord, that you receive salvation today. Those been revived. Well, let's get ready to give back to the Lord by way of a tithes and offering. Then we'll be on our way out. Musicians, Carlton, and Princeton, we'll be on our way out. Come on, let's get ready to give back to the Lord by way of our tithes and offering. This is the second Sunday of the year. So let's make sure we give back to the Lord as he has blessed us. Amen. As he has blessed us. Let's bow head right where we had. Eternal God, we thank you right now for those who are going to be able to give. We bless them right now in the name of Jesus. Bless the heart that just have a heart to give, just can't not give, Lord. Would you open up a door that they'll be able to give the next time? We ask, Father God, every seed that's sown right now, Lord, will be multiplied back to your people in a way that they come short of nothing. You without a lot to have increase like never before in their life. Bless this ministry as we receive the gifts from them for the upbuilding of your kingdom. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you. You know, we have several ways of giving. You can come by the church. That's 2930 Newton Road in Carrollton, Georgia. Now, if you're outside of the state of Georgia, you may not want to drive all the way to 2930. So, we have another option for you. That is, you can mail it to the church. That's P.O. Box 1614, Carrollton, Georgia, 30112, if you desire. And then thirdly, if you'd like to use your, your phone, your computer, your device, you can use our cash app, not the cash app, our uh, push pay. Our push pay. And you can just use that push pay app. That's uh, any of clean. And you can give your tithes and offering and other options that's available for you on that app. And then fourth, if you desire and want to give a love offering to the pastor by way of a cash app, you will use my own personal cash app. You can do that. That's the dollar sign, Vincent Gerald Dorch, at your discretion. Okay? God bless you all. We love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in on this second Sunday with us. Musicians, once again, thank you all so much. Carlton, thank you so much. Praise team, thank you. Any of y'all, thank you. YouTube, Facebook, those who called in, thank you. God bless you all. Well, let's get ready to go home. All right, you all have a blessed, blessed week. Let's find something to laugh about. I'm enjoying the laughter part because it helped motivate us because we go through so much. It's nothing like having a good, clean laugh, okay? So let's stand to your feet at your home. If you don't mind, stand. I'm watching you. Stand where you're at, at home. Get out that bed. Come on, get out that bed. Get off that sofa. You're not fooling me. You're not fooling me. Stand up, Andy. Y'all stand up wherever you're at. Raise those hands up towards heaven. Repeat after me. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We give you glory and honor. Now to him who's able to keep us from all and present us faultless before the throne of grace. Be unto him dominion, majesty, and power. Now, henceforth, and forevermore, all of God's children did say amen. Rock it real quick, musicians. Come on, do your thing. Amen. As we get ready for some good laughter. God bless you all. And we'll see you all next Sunday. Send hearts up, send thumbs up as a way of being in agreement with us as we give God all the glory and the honor. God bless you. We love you. I'm your sister's aunt's cousin on your father's side. <laughs>
Sister Mabel Williams. Sister Mabel Williams. Right. Yeah. Glad to see you. I knew you when you was a baby. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. It's so good to see you having your own show. Thank you. All these years of praying for you finally paid off. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. And hold on, honey. Hold on. I'm having one of my spiritual flashes. Heal. 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 I'm okay now, doctor. I hope so. I cast them out now in the name of Jesus. I find them in the name of Jesus. Lose the host. Lose the host now. Good thing on the name of Jesus. Lose the host. For the spirit, which is the word of God, Jesus Christ, to put on huh, the arm of God, Jesus Christ, we love you God, so we do it for God, Jesus Christ, uh, belt of truth, Jesus Christ, so we do it for, we love you God, uh, chestnut, Jesus Christ, of righteousness, we love you, God. Shoes of peace, stomping on the enemy. God, Jesus Christ, we love you, God. So we do it for him. I'll have to have Jesus. I'll have to have that man robot. Figure out what note you're gonna sing next time. Okay, I stopped trying to take over my choir. That's a $13.75 fine. And you? Mm. I can't even find you enough. Jerome, Jerome, did you get your hair cut today? That's a fine too. That's a fine. You saw my cracking glasses. That is not of the Lord. Your, your glasses are chaotic. Jesus don't like chaos. That's chaos. Are you still talking? Okay. All right. You didn't have to buy that tie. You could have bought some more glasses. We are in service. I like my glasses. Huh? <clears throat> I like my glasses. You might like your glasses, but we don't. That's a fine, too. Take your glasses off. Sing blind. You want us to listen deaf. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's reset. Matter of fact, don't sit here representing us with them glasses on anymore. I like them. You need to sing with them glasses off. Sing blind, okay? And we'll listen deaf, okay? We can all be together. You need sign language singing. I have a reputation, okay? All right? And someone needs a breath mint. Let's start with me, not me. Okay, pass it down. Uh, we don't have to go no further. Excuse me, excuse me, three notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, give me a second. <laughs> you just talk about my breath. <laughs>